Welcome! It's Stamping Scott, and this is my YouTube channel. I am so happy to actually make a card for you today that's super simple and comes straight out of our brand new catalog. And it's also featuring a new in color, which is called Bumblebee. This is a monochromatic card, so it's very simple. We've got an ink pad, a stamp set, some ribbon, and some cuts of cardstock. Really super simple. And I thought it would be fun to kick off making a video for you guys. I know it's been a very long time since I've actually made a video on my YouTube channel. I want to apologize for that. However, I had a little bit of a distraction in my life that was really good. It brought eight months of wonderful joy and some new beginnings. I've learned a lot about myself in the last couple weeks, had some time for self-reflection, and I realized that the reason why I do stamping is because I want to share kindness with people. And I think sending a handmade card is the best way to create a greeting to share with people. And of course, I'm a part of a really awesome team at Stampin' Up! and I cannot thank the Pink Stampers enough because they are just the core of my values and love for this creative craft. And so being a part of that team has brought so much joy for me. And I really think it's time for me to contribute and start making videos again. I have a little bit more free time, so why not? And it's a really great way to share. So today we are making a very simple card. We're going to create one that is like this, but we'll have the thank you on the front of it. As some of you know, I do have some customers that order from me directly from stampingscott.stampinup.net. Every single one of my customers that place an order me with that month will get a card. And this actually is a card for the month of June. So I apologize. They will be going out in the mail. <laughs> it's just a little late. <laughs> um, I've been uh, challenged with some things in my life and I'm just finally starting to get focused again. What I wanted to share with you is that you can make it super simple and monochromatic like this, or you can make it a little bit more jazzy and maybe add some gold embossing to it and some gold cords. So this is a very simple card from the ground up, and I'm really excited to share with you how easy this is. So this is using the Celebrate Sunflowers stamp set, brand new stamp set, absolutely love it. And we're going to use the Sunflower stamp, and we're also going to be using the Sentiment Today Thanks a Bunch. And these are mounted to some acrylic blocks. We are going to be using the brand new in color called Bumblebee. This is a great color. It reminds me of an old color we used to have something called More Mustard many, many moons ago, but it was a little bit more brown. I just really like it, and I just ordered a bunch of cardstock of it today. Very excited about it. And of course, we have the in color ribbon that co coordinates with this stamp color, and I like that. This makes it a lot more interesting. Uh, adds interest to the cards. And can you guys believe it? We have a brand new adhesive. Now, I know. We have to say goodbye to Snail. It's brought us a lot of life and love, and I do love this adhesive, but it's time for new beginnings, right? And this Stampin' Seal is amazing. I actually just started playing with it today, and I can't believe how stronger the adhesion is. And they actually have another one called Stampin' Seal Plus, which is a lot stronger. But look at how cool this is. And it comes in a Ziploc pouch. You can put it back in. Look at how cool that is. It's nice. It has a nice grip on it. And of course, it really is very smooth. I like it better than the snail, I have to admit. I really do. So some of you that use the equivalent to the snail that you can buy in a craft store, you guys can still do that. I highly recommend, though, using this or at least giving it a shot. You do get a little bit more adhesive than a standard snail or the equivalent to a snail adhesive. Really love it. I'm very happy that they actually took time to redesign adhesive. Yay! Celebrate that! All right, so we're going to start getting ready here. Like I said, this is a really fast one, so I, hopefully this video won't take too long today. We are going to start, start with some cuts of, uh, I was going to say cuts of fabric. I've been sewing facial masks like crazy, you guys, and fabric has been on my mind, so it's nice to work with paper for a change. So we're going to start with some cuts of paper, <laughs> and we are working with Whisper White, which is cut at five by three and three quarters. Then we're going to have a cut of the new Bumblebee cardstock cut at five and a quarter by four inches. And then we have the ultra thick cardstock in Whisper White. And this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half. And we're going to score it at four and a quarter. 
Then we're going to be using this brand new punch, you guys. You're going to love this punch. It's called the Lovely Labels Punch. It's one of my favorite products in a new catalog, and I can't sell it enough because I use it in almost every single card, and you're going to see how easy this is. All right, so we are going to work with two cuts to make our Lovely Label, and we are using Whisper White cut at three quarters by three and three quarters, and then Bumblebee, which is cut at one inch by four inch. So we're going to get started. First things first, we are going to prepare our cardstock. Simply score tool here. We're going to score the ultra thick cardstock at four and a quarter. And then we're going to fold it down. Then we're going to start with our Whisper White cardstock as our front part of the card that we're going to get started with right away. Take our Bumblebee ink pad here. Love these new ink pads. And when you use the new ink pads from Stampin' Up, you don't want to push too hard. Just lightly tap. With bigger stamps, you can do this too. Whatever you like to do. There isn't a right or a wrong way to do this. Now I'm going to position this stamp so it looks like the sunflower is pointing in this direction. And once again, you can do this any way you want to. And I'm going to have it hang off the edge, and we're just going to push it down. I like to hold my stamps, especially with the dye ink, with a rubber stamp for about five to six seconds. And I like to add a little bit of pressure, but no rocking. And then you're going to go ahead and lift it up. And look at how beautiful that is. Now what we're going to do is add this really cool distressed background. Whoops, and I just got my hand inked. <laughs> All right. Let's stamp some fist marks, hey? <laughs> all right, um, that's all a part of crafting. We gotta love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this distressing around the edge. And you would think that it would start to show, like blend in with the sunflower. It doesn't. The sunflower comes out darker than the distress. So it almost looks like two different colors, but it's the same ink, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and take the round sponges. I'll put this on the list as well, and I cut it into a little pie piece. You can get a lot of, you can get six of these little wedges from one sponge. Just lightly, you don't have to push down hard. And we're just going to lightly kind of go a little bit, like maybe a half an inch in, and then drag it out. And it's going to create a nice little texture effect. The sponge actually leaves kind of a neat mark on them. It's a very relaxing technique, too. It distresses, it adds some interest to a card, especially if you're doing monochromatic techniques. This is a really nice way to sort of jazz up adding some texture to the same color that you're stamping with. Voila! Then we're going to go ahead and add the ribbon. And I get my paper snips here. Bloop. And we're going to go ahead and add this to the back side. And I know you guys are hearing this in your head, um, using the good old cheater method. Thanks to my dear friend Robin. Thank you so much for teaching us really awesome techniques. I learned this from her, has to be eight years ago. <laughs> I can't remember. There we go. Looks like we got that ribbon. And guess what? We're almost done. <laughs> This is an easy card. So the next thing I'm going to do is place this card on top of the layer of bumblebee and that once again is cut at five and a quarter by four inches and you can see it's a little the ribbon's a little bit crooked but you know what it's okay this is handmade you guys no perfection needed now watch how smooth this stamp and seal is i am not kidding and it doesn't even make it it doesn't click which i really love look at how smooth that is now stampin up says that you can lift it up and it will release really easy and it does it takes a little practice however I found today that I actually like sliding it a little bit, snipping it forward like that. Did you see that? And that way it makes a nice clean glue strip. See? I know you can't really see where the glue is being placed. And let me tell you, this stuff is stickier than snail. See? And then, boop. Now, of course, you don't need to go out and run and buy a bunch of the new adhesive. If you have tons of snail at home, please use up your snail before you buy this new adhesive, but I, I will tell you, you'll be really happy with it. I think it's like $8.99. I'll put the price on the screen so you can see it. I really like it, and you can get refills for it too. 
And I just think it's so cute that you have this pouch that you can stick it back into. So one thing I do have to say is I wouldn't lose the cover. Make sure that you keep track of that cover. I had a, an adhesive like this from another company years ago that I had the cover. I would forget to put it back on. So I just kind of remember to do that. I like the ergonomics of it though. Stampin' Up! You did a great job with this one. I'm telling you. They really made an improvement with the adhesive. I know. And I've never gotten excited about adhesive, but this stuff is awesome. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and put this down. Let's see. Do we want to hear a joke? Let's see. Alexa, tell us a joke. Where does a T-Rex go to get his groceries? The dino store. Ha! I'm so happy that when I ask a joke with the Echo device, I know it can be clean. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, we're, we're coming along. Now we're going to do the fun part. Well, it's all fun, but we're going to do the next fun part. So we're going to use our lovely labels punch to create the label front. Leave that here. So we're going to start with the white piece first. Now, you can choose either one. I'm going to choose this one right here, this decorative one here. Okay, it sort of has a little bit more of a scrolled edge on it. And I'm going to put the three-quarter inch whisper white in there, and I'm going to slide it until it doesn't slide anymore. Now, this is a great tip. You need to flip it over before you push down so you can see that it's positioned just where you want it. So when you punch it, it's not going to take half of the corner off. Okay, then you're going to put that aside. Nice, look at that. For sentiments, you can't go wrong. And yes, we all love our frames. I'm really big into frames. I think they're great, especially if you have a die cutting machine. But there's nothing better than reaching for a punch to be able to make this happen. I mean, you guys, come on. This is so easy. This has stamp and Scott's approval big time. I'm so excited about it. Now we're going to do the one inch strip of the bumblebee. It's got different grooves for different size labels. So you can do one inch, three quarters of an inch, and half inch. So you can layer and create some layers. Now flip it over, make sure it's positioned where you want it before you snap the punch. Isn't that fun? Of course I need to vacuum later. There you go. Now you're gonna go this way, slide it in there, flip it over. <laughs> you gotta have fun with everything, you guys. It has to be fun, right? So there we go. How easy was that? I'm going to lock it and put it over here. Now look at this. So we've got a nice layered labels without having to grab a big shot machine and some frames. This is a really cool thing. I'm really excited about it. Now we're going to stamp the sentiment on here. I chose the sentiment, thanks a bunch. <laughs> or you could choose let's celebrate you. Now if you have some other stamp sets that have sentiments in it, they will fit really, really nicely. There's actually a bundle that this punch comes with that's perfect. And I believe it's the Lovely Labels bundle. I will put the bundle name on the screen. But I think it's versatile for a lot of different uses. I'm gonna go ahead now and take some more Bumblebee. Lightly tap. And because I actually mounted my index labels, the clings, I can actually position it exactly where I wanna go. I'm going to create a video on how to mount these clings. So easy, you're going to get excited about it. I'm not kidding. I look forward to getting a stamp set every time now because I get to put the clings on the rubber stamps. I've never been excited about that. Until somebody on the internet saw my Instagram and shared an awesome tip. So I want to make a video just for my Stamping Scott viewers to show you how easy it is. Look at that! Perfectly aligned. No stamp -a jig no stamparatus, it's perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply it to here. Get our adhesive out. Oh, see, I'm a little OCD about putting things away, but if you looked at the rest of my house, you would never figure that out. <laughs> but for crafting, I like to keep everything organized. There we go. Groovy. Now, this adhesive is less forgiving than snail. What that means is that it's harder to pull up if you make a mistake. So I'm just going to take the time to make sure that it's going to go down just right. Okay. Look at that. We're almost done. So we're going to actually put this on the ultra thick cardstock white. And I'm just going to use my adhesive again. Now watch how I do this. I'm going to 
drag it and then just snap it. Drag, snap, drag, snap, <laughs> drag, snap. Now, like I said, you don't have to do the snap, but I find that it's a lot cleaner if I do that. And it's just, once you start doing it, you won't forget about it, and it will, it'll give you the best results. But like I said, you guys do it the way that you feel is best. When we share techniques and tips, it's not here to tell you that this is the right way to do it or this is the wrong way to do it. Sometimes the mistakes yield better results. Let me tell you, I've learned that over time. All right, now you notice that I didn't use any Stampin' Dimensionals. You know what, this is a simple card, and you'll notice that it's not 100% centered, it's handmade. But we are going to be using Stamping Dimensionals here to pop this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my well-loved Stampin' Dimensionals. As you can see, I'm taking it right down to <laughs> the core here. And I'm going to put three on here, one to go on this side of the ribbon and two on this side of the ribbon. I know some of you would say, oh, we could do it with just two, but you know what? Stampin' Dimensionals is about structure. You wanna make sure that you're giving enough support to the elements so that they don't actually start bowing down. And if you mail this to somebody, it might actually kind of make a little, like a bend. And you don't want that. You want it to be nice and straight. These are so inexpensive. I think they're $4 for like 300 and it takes me quite a while to go through a bunch of them. And also, too, never throw it away until you cut all these little edges off and start using all the other pieces. Once again, it's an adhesive. It's on the other side. Nobody sees it. It works perfectly. We do have a little bit of forgiveness with the dimensions as long as you don't push down and you can sort of see if that looks. And I kind of like that. It's a little close to the edge, but I like it. It's going to work. I'm going to push down. And we're gonna put this away. And voila, look at that. Thanks a bunch. It's monochromatic using the new Bumblebee in color. And I'll tell you something, the new in colors are fantastic. There are quite a few new colors available. You need to check it out in the new catalog. Look at the new colors, you guys. I have not loved colors from Stampin' Up! and in color like I have with this series. This is probably hands down the best in color I've seen since 2016. And I'm not kidding. I am really excited about it. Now, the other ink colors are wonderful and lovely. They complemented other colors in a Stampin' Up! color line. These colors work all by themselves or complement other colors. And I love it because we have a nice range of new shades of greens, blues, pinks, browns, and yellows. It looks like candy to me. Like, I feel like I'm in the candy store when I look at these new colors. I personally love the new Bumblebee. And I love the Magenta Madness. Magenta, you've seen in your ink printers, you get a cartridge called Magenta. It's very similar to that. I do have to say I absolutely love this new blue, Misty Moonlight. I just got the Stampin' Blends markers in that color because it reminds me of denim. It looks like denim. And of course, then you got Just Jade. The brown is called Cinnamon Cider. Look at how beautiful the ink colors are all laid out. And you know what? This is the new catalog. And you're going to love the new catalog because... It's going to have all the colors sorted by your brights, your neutrals, your regals, and subtles, as well as your ink color. And you'll also notice that it has every single product that's available in that color. With cardstock, the classic stamp pad, the classic ink refill, and the new Stampin' Blends combos. One thing you need to know is that the Stampin' Blends are only sold in pairs now, which is good because you need the light one with the dark one to do the blending. But how cool is that? So now, if you want to see if there's a Stampin' Blends marker, you don't have to go to the page where all the markers are at. You can look at your favorite color chart and find the marker to see if it's available. And you will notice, you guys, you'll notice that Mella Mumbo came out with the Stampin' Blends. We're really excited about that. I know I am. So that's exciting. And then you can see there are a lot of Stampin' Blend markers available in the colors. They really expanded the lineup. But I think you're going to love this. They have a lot more bundles to share, and they're great ideas. There's so many ideas in this catalog. All you have to do is go to stampingscott.stampinup.net, place an order with me, and when I see that order come through, I will send you a new catalog if you're a new customer. That's all you have to do. Place an order with me within six months, and I will send you whatever new catalogs come out. And that includes the mini catalogs. Ironically, we have a new mini coming up as well in August, and that will feature our holiday collection and some seasonal sets, and you're going to love what's in there. But that doesn't come out until August. So 
we are going to have fun with this new catalog. And like I said, if you place an order with me, any size order, or if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber from my website, I will send you a catalog. Just keep your purchases active for six months and I'll make sure I will look back and I will send you that catalog. It still costs me about $8 to ship a catalog out. So I do want to make sure that, you know, if you really want to have a catalog, if you purchase from my site, I know that you're interested in using the stamps. So that's what I have to offer for you today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. It was really simple and I'm going to pull in the other card here that gives you some other ideas. So if you want to mix it up and use the gold embossed powder with some gold cording, which is now in the new catalog, you can create a different look. Now, this one is made with crushed curry, and this one is made with the new bumblebee. You can see they're very similar, except I think the crushed curry looks more like turmeric, actually. I think the bumblebee looks more like mustard. They're very similar. The reason why they're two different colors is it gives you an idea of how you can mix it up a little bit. And in today, I made this for a birthday. My aunt's birthday is today. So I went ahead and make a Let's Celebrate You version too. Well, you guys, thank you so much for joining me here at Stamping Scott. It's been a pleasure making a video for you again. I apologize once again for not getting as many videos out in the last six to eight months. And that is partly because I've been busy with a lot of other things in my life. And of course, during the shutdown, well, I was preoccupied with a lot of the things that were going on with the shutdown. And now that we're easing open again and I'm back into work again, it's been an interesting transition. So I, I can find time if I can make these videos quicker to be able to get them posted faster for you. So there's less editing involved. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like what you saw today, if this technique was easy for you. You're going to see a link at the bottom of my YouTube channel that will link you to my shop site that shows you all the things that you can purchase to make this card. And you know what, mix it up. Maybe you wanna do this with Magenta Madness. They have ribbon that matches the Magenta Madness. All the ink colors, you can make a card like this for every ink color. And if you wanna make it a little bit more interesting or add some more depth, maybe consider using some embossing powder as your background. Or you could use black ink to do the sunflower and the sentiment. There's a lot of different ways to do this card. Once again, make it your own have fun with it because this is all about creativity and sharing kindness. I can't tell you how important it is in the world that we live in right now to share positivity and kindness. I have to say no matter how hard it is to deal with some of the things that life has brought us, there are so many blessings around us to be able to be thankful. And I'm thankful for all of you for being my followers here on my YouTube channel. You have no idea how heartfelt it means to me that you actually get excited about my videos and maybe leave a comment. I'm happy that you love to subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me to be a part of your crafting world and being a part of Stamping Scott. Remember, if you are not already familiar, I have a Facebook page called Stamping Scott. You can go there and like that page. I share a lot of crafting and sewing. Yes, there's a lot of sewing on there because I have been sewing a lot of face masks. <laughs> I want to get back into quilting where I left off, but we need face masks and you know what it's been something where i can observe and serve in the way that i do my daily life and that has made a difference for me i want to make a difference somewhere in my life and if it means just sharing a little kindness providing a face mask showing you how to make a card really easy that's what i'm here to do let me know if there's anything i can do for you I would be more than happy to be your demonstrator if you're looking to purchase items from Stampin' Up. You will see videos coming on my YouTube channel maybe once or twice a month as soon as I get a new rhythm where I can actually do this more consistently. So thank you so very much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon or evening as it may be. And I really appreciate you spending time with me. Make sure that you give me a thumbs up if you liked what you saw today and please leave comments below. Thank you so much, you guys. You mean the world to me. Bye for now. Once again, thank you so much for watching.
please check out some of my other videos on my YouTube channel, Stamping Scott. See you really soon!